Let's have a look now at modifying our section. We've already placed our section marker, as you can see, and obviously now we want to look at modifying that and changing it. Now, what we can do is if we go into the project browser, that section is the only section we have in the entire project. So if I double click there on section one, which is in my building section, now you'll notice at the moment my section is only showing ground floor. So what I need to do there is zoom out, click on my crop region, click and drag, and take that all the way up, like so. Because I want to show that going through the entire building. The default is obviously that particular floor. It's still a building section, but because I was on the ground floor, it's only showing the ground floor. So I'll just tweak that crop region like so. And what we need to do as well is look at the markers there. So I click on that level there, and I want the marker there. So click, make sure you tick the box like that, and then hit Escape and select this one, tick the box there. So you've got the markers there like that. Zoom in here, make sure you get that level marker, tick the box there, hit Escape. Again, click on that one there. You might need to click on the words themselves like that instead. Can you see that? So you click on there, so it looks much, much neater like that. And then what you might want to do is switch the crop region off. And there you have a particular section one through your building. Now there's a grid there coming down. You might want to click on the dot there and just line that in with the other grids when you get the dashed line, just to tidy it up like that. So that's how you edit that particular part of your section. Now let's go back to the 00, zero ground floor, like so. We've still got our section marker there, and we might want to change where that section marker goes. So I showed you previously that you could move your section marker. So if I hover over it, you can see the crosshairs there. I can move that and I can place it wherever I want it to go. So if I drag that in a bit like that and move it around, notice the extents of the section don't change. It's only moving at the moment that we're interested in. So I'll move it to say, there, like that. And then what I might do is click on the arrows to change the extent, because obviously we're outside the building there. And I'll click here, bring that section into there, like that. I'll also bring the section head up a bit to there as well, like that. Now here, let's zoom in a bit. I've got my circular hollow section there, so I don't want to go too far. So I'll bring that down to there and bring my section head there, like that. Now if I want to flip the section so it goes the other way, I click on that marker there. That flips it quite literally the other way. So once I've placed a section marker, I can flip it very easily. I don't have to draw another section marker and point it in a different direction. I can actually just flip a section marker like so. So that will have changed the view slightly. So what I can do now is go down to my section one again here in the project browser, and you'll see the elevation levels move along a little bit there. Can you see that? It's just tweaked ever so slightly. Now, obviously you might want to rename that. Section one is slightly non-descriptive. So you might rename that as, let's say, section. And you might put internal. And you might put underscore stairs. A bit like the elevation markers that we did previously. So I'll do that there. Notice I've put a character in that I can't use. Revit prompts me for that. That's obviously that colon there. I can't use that. So what we'll do, we'll just delete. And we'll put space dash space. Click on OK. And that's fine. But obviously it's a lot more descriptive now rather than just section one. So if I go back here to my ground floor in the browser, there's my section marker all ready to go as you can see.